Hey everyone, I'm back again with another tutorial on a Roblox game. Um, this video, or well, this tutorial, is pretty much just going to be a simple explanation on how to operate the new lapping brakes and just stuff like that in the older trains and freight trains, because apparently it's not easy for certain people. Um, as you can see, we got the brake and hold, or um, in other trains in the U-set, it's a bit different for some reason, but it's still generally the same thing. Um, so in other trains, this will be this will say lap, um, which pretty much is holding the brakes, not um, holding the brake pressure, um, which means it's keeping it at this level. If I click A and then set into release, as you can see, the brake pressure goes down, and then when I bring it back up to EB hold, it holds the brake pressure. If I press D and then click apply, as you can see, the brake pressure goes up, and EP hold obviously holds the brake pressure there. Um, so I'm just going to fully apply those and keep that in hold. And I'm going to demonstrate to you how you gen generally want to depart in a more silver set like this um, or an older set like this. So what you want to do is um, enable full series because first series is pretty slow. Um, and then once you're ready to, to depart, you click A. That'll fully release the brakes. And then the train will slowly start moving. Um, once you get a good move on, um, then you can start, you know, Enable parallel acceleration. And then even beyond that, you got weak field one. And then you got full weak field above this as well, or weak field two. Um, yeah, I'll show you um, pulling into a straight station later on. All right, so we're going 60 kilometers right, 60 kilometers an hour right now. We're about to approach Beachport. Um, I'll just keep it accelerating here. There we go, there's Beachport. So what we want to do is apply the brakes to about there. Um, pretty much you'll be able to see our braking speed change. Um, so once again, it's D to apply. Once you're in the hold position, it's D to apply more brake. Um, and then A to put it into release. So you release more brake pressure. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you'll get the hang of it soon. I'm still trying to get the hang of it, so... As you can see, I kind of messed up there. And then once you're going to a good position, and then the train will just stop just like that. And then you can open the doors. Um, let's see how good of a job I did. See, I'm still learning, you know, I haven't fully got the hang, hang of it, but this is just a simple explanation on how to operate the new manual braking or lap braking system in trainways. I'll just give another re little recap real quick. So once again, we're in the hold position right now. We click D to apply brake, as you can see. Then we click A to bring it back into hold. And then we bring, then we click A again to release brakes. Um, if we go, just click apply real quick. If we're in the apply position, we just want to release the brakes entirely without clicking a bunch of buttons. We just click Q, it'll immediately bring it into release. And yeah, I'll show a quick demonstration on us um, the part real quick. So we're in the hold position right now. We go to A to release, the race to release, and we start moving again. So yeah, hope this helps you out.